is and Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Summer of Pain Week 10 finale is over. And as you may know, I did not choose to live stream this. I have a few fights that I posted up from my full exploration. This is the final moments of the final path. Now, I want to give you guys a little bit of background as you see me trying to get this uh, Grandmaster down. All right. So I waited almost too long. Okay. Uh, I, I did two paths yesterday and then I just passed out. I'm also trying to get Penny Parker as a five star. So last night, I said, all right, I'm going to uh, do these two paths. And I tried to grind a little bit for her, but didn't manage to do much at all before I fell asleep. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. Now, I usually wake up at like 4.30, but I was up late finishing the second path of the day, all right? Now, this morning at six o'clock, and I'll explain why you're seeing a lot of this happening right now. Um, but at six o'clock, that is the cutoff for when my five-star champions will come off cooldown at one, which is when I usually stream. So I wanna start before six or at the latest six or else they won't be ready in time. Uh, and I can always start the stream a little bit late if I want to. So once I woke up and I saw the time, I'm like, man, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of time uh, to, to do another path if I choose to grind, which I did. So I grinded out and got it done. I was focused and I got it done in like two hours. All right. Had my breakfast, did my devotions, and then I decided to rest for a little bit before I jumped in. And I figured, you know what? This should be enough. Two hours should definitely be enough to get the path done because I've gotten my paths done up till now in like an hour. The latest, maybe an hour and a half, every path. My last path was Mysterio and Rogue and I was using Apocalypse. I have never fought Mysterio with Apocalypse, but I watched the video and I saw roughly what I needed to do. The problem was I was watching my time draining away. And so I was like, all right, I don't have time to just keep restarting until I get a good run because Mysterio decided not to throw his specials five times, maybe six in a row, he just wouldn't fire his special off. I don't know why. And it kept messing me up because a lot of those runs, I'd made no progress at all. And I'm panicking and I'm looking and I'm like, okay, what's going on? All right. So when I finally got to uh, the Grand Master, I didn't have that much time left. What you're looking at right now is the last bit. I mean, there are minutes left in this event and I'm running the risk of maybe not getting him down in time and having the time run out on me. So what you were seeing was me rushing through and just trying to brute force it, you know, just go quick, quick, quick. And I was making a lot of mistakes because of it. Now we're at the 1%. And what I want to do here is make sure I'm healed up so that if I mess up, uh, I'll at least be able to survive long enough to wait out his, you know, final stage. Okay. So here we go. I'm trying to back off. He's backing off. He's being a little bit more passive. So that was good. What he's doing right here is perfect. Okay. And look at this. I'm trying to you know, maybe get a, a, a intercept in, but he's not doing anything. He's, he's being very passive. 
which he did a couple of times. Got lucky here, okay? But look at that. He intercepted me. But I'm looking at the time, and I'm like, yeah, got him. Now what? And I just stood here looking for a little bit. I had just a few minutes left on the clock, but I wanted to savor this. I was just looking at him. Summer of pain. And you were a pain. This final path, Mysterio, my, my best run was 12 revives. Soloed the path and used 12 revives on Grandmaster. I think I used about that much just on Mysterio. On that path. Uh, Rogue, I think I took her down in about three or four revives. And it was ugly. I was just brute forcing it. But at least I made progress on every attempt with Rogue. Um, but, oh my goodness, that was horrible. It was a horrible run. Uh, I, I Later on, I, I watched uh, or read in my Alliance chat, uh, one guy who was also doing his final, also waited last minute like I did. Uh, this took me over two hours to get through that final path. I did not expect it to be that long. Okay? But we got her done, and he didn't. He actually finished the Grandmaster after it expired. He was still fighting the Grandmaster when it uh, expired. Uh, I felt so bad for him, but that's what I was afraid to happen. All right, so here's we're, we're selecting uh, which one of these we want. You can see I have, you know, like one of every one except, I think, uh, science. But mutant, you can't go wrong with mutant and I was close to getting another one. So I went ahead and fully formed that one. Now for the T4 class selectors, look at that. I got four mutant. So of course I'm going to select mutant because I know that I will have mutants that I want to rank up. There's a crystal opening coming up seven crystals that I'm going to open up six stars. Don't know whether I'm going to get Professor X, Apocalypse, something like that, all right? Uh, and then we've got this science here. Don't even have one of science. Now, I don't currently have any science champions that I really want to take up. Uh, Captain America Infinity War, yeah, I could take him up. Uh, but now, for this, I want skill. I've got several skill champions that I would like to rank up. I've got Kingpin at rank one. I got Nick Fury at rank one. Mole Man is at rank two. I have one, two to three rank up skill gem for a six star. So if I have at least two uh, skill uh, catalysts, I'm good. I could take all three of them up. All right. So here we are. And I was hurrying up. Look at the time, guys. Look at the time. This is how much uh, we had left down to the wire. I was looking and I was like, man, I, was, I think I was at like 9 or 10 percent. And we had 15 minutes to go. And I just started brute forcing it. I just kept going. I didn't care if he started his special three animation. I hit pause, quit, went back in, did everything I could just to get him down. Some of the runs against him, I only took off like 1%. But I had like 7% left, and I'm like, okay, if I can just keep doing seven, uh, 1%, we got this. We got this, all right? Um, but here, I'm looking to make sure that there's nothing else that I need to claim. And once again, if you're not uh, familiar with this, I don't claim all of these. I like to claim them all at once before the next arena starts. So like today, um, I won't claim any of this, but tomorrow, just before the arena starts, I'll claim it. And look at that. You remember when they gave us that war assistance and it had the wrong things and then they took it away and then they gave us a different one? I still have the old one right there to claim, but they will just go into my overflow. All right, so that was a nail biting run. Look at that. Not that much time left. I was so, so nervous that I was going to miss out on this final one. And I, I tell you, I would have cried. 
I know I would have cried if I had missed out on exploring it after all that pain. And this event quest completion is just going to have to stay there. You know, I'm still looking, by the way, to make sure. That's how nervous and out of it I was. I'm still looking to make sure. See, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah. I did get, I, I got all of the uh, objectives. And I'm looking here because I'm like, okay, wait, no, no. They don't have any rank rewards. My brain was scrambled, guys, at this point. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Look out for the crystal opening coming. All right? Uh, so take care. And you all... Have a blessed day.